Hey, it's Brigzar. We're outside today. It's such a beautiful fall day here in Georgia. The leaves haven't quite got to where they're changing yet, but man, do I love it out here. So I'm going to do a haul. thought I'd do it outside since it's such a pretty day. I hope it's as pretty where you are. <laughs> but anyway, went to the antique store and I found a really interesting Lego item. We're going to show it to you. So this is an antique store I've been in before and they do have some Lego items. So I thought I'd just look again and I almost passed this one. In fact, this was at a, a toy vendor. They had a lot of Star Wars and Matchbox cars and things like that. I just happened to see this on the bottom shelf and I assumed when I saw it, it was just an empty box. This is kind of the way I saw it sitting there. It was on the very bottom and I said, well, let me pick it up and I felt pieces in it. And I said, well, they don't have it sealed. Let me see if there's anything in it. So I opened it up and that's all I needed to see and I took it to the front. <laughs> that's exactly what I did. I went, that's all I need to see. <laughs> and I went <laughs> and bought it. And what, did you see what I saw? Might be hard to see in the sunlight. All right, what did I see? No, it's not the stickers up here. It is this. This Maersk Blue boat bolts here they, they were right there on the top and I was like that is awesome in fact it's enough for the entire boat set it all here not sure what order I should put these in but it's a pretty long boat that this came from it's set 1650 and it's the only set that these holes came in so I got it just because of that. Now, as I look in here, I see things are sorted by color. Like there's a bag of black pieces. A few other colors in there. Then there's some, oh, there's classic Spaceman there. That's pretty good. Not a lot of minifigures. Just some helmets and air tanks. There's a a bag of white pieces that says gold <laughs> and oh, there's a maxi figure part we got instructions for a helicopter here set 66.97 but this is also awesome there's some more mir this mirror blue pieces that fell out of the bag this is a bag full of mirror blue right here and these little rails, I can get these. These are little train rails that are Marish blue. Those were only in one set. That's uh, the Marish truck. And so it looks like there's a whole bunch of other little Marish blue parts there. Very rare and literally rare, not jokingly rare. And apparently, I don't know if it's this guy and I need to go back and find them and see if he's got these other parts. Um, they probably used to just put parts in a, in a bag. This is what I see a lot of antique sellers do. They'll just sort things by color and then sell the bags. Uh, they don't realize they're selling five and six hundred dollar things for four and five dollars when they do that. But um, at times, you know, they see like a bag like this looks pretty nondescript, nothing major in there. The yellow bag, and here's the red. got the boat weight in there that's good that's a piece right here it goes to this boat and then here's just a few uh, there's some more mirror blue pieces in there just um, in this group there probably was another box that would have had the light gray pieces which would have been most of the parts to the rest of this boat and I believe it had 70 or so two by three bricks with the container stickers on them. That would have really been an awesome find. I was hoping those would be in here, but they were not. But this is still, this is awesome to me, just getting this Maersk line boat hull, Copenhagen on the back. This is a boat hull from 1974. And also these parts to the Marish truck there from 74. So I should be able to build, I can build this 
it won't have all the stickers uh, for the upper level and I could probably build the truck uh, but it, again I wouldn't have the stickers so I thought it was a good find uh, finding this in a um, antique store and I will go back and see if I can find a vendor and see if he's got other pieces um, I imagine if somebody saw the gray they might have bought the gray the light gray pieces um, I also had the base plates so anyway I thought it was a good find it's a pretty rare item you don't see these for sale just even these individual pieces you don't see them for sale on BrickLink so that's my haul I know I was excited about it I don't know if you are but it's such a pretty day it doesn't really matter I hope you enjoyed this video be sure to like it if you ever found anything at an antique store that was pretty neat uh, sometimes uh, I find two extremes there right? sometimes I find really awesome stuff like this it's awesome to me or I find stuff that's overpriced um, I don't know so tell me what you think and enjoy this pretty day if it's pretty where you are see you in the next video Great